Well, like most people, this time of year brings our property taxes. So we had to go pay our property taxes this morning. Uh, and in, in addition to that, we also had to get the registration on our vehicles done. So I got to spend the next few minutes. We're going to put our new stickers on our vehicles. Because even though we live off grid and we do homestead, we still have to pay taxes. We still have to register all of our vehicles. We still have to do all the normal things that you would do if you were living in the city. Now, living this lifestyle certainly has its benefits, but there are certain things that you just got to get done. And this is definitely one of them. You know, there are some things we don't mind doing, like, for instance, paying our taxes. You know, it's just part of it. I mean, we could bitch about it and all that stuff, but why? Like, what's the, what's the point? At the end of the day, we're still going to end up paying them anyways. Same thing with the registration on our vehicles, right? I mean, we could bitch and complain about it, but it ain't going to change anything. I mean, it's it's just, there's just certain things you just got to do. And, you know, this is one of them. All right. So, registration is done. Stickers are on the vehicles. Let's go do some real work. All right. So, we are in our shop today. Uh, we're not going to stay long in here. I just got to get a couple of tools. Because there is a uh, project that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And we're going to go ahead and do it today. So I built the outdoor kitchen a couple years ago. But what I didn't do is put any corners on it. So we're going to go put some corners on the exterior siding and get that buttoned up. All right, so we've got the corner panels, which we picked up uh, from the local metal company here, uh, owned by the Amish. Uh, it's where we get all of our metal from. Um, they're pretty, pretty awesome over there. So uh, we needed eight feet, but we bought 10 footers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my grinder wheel here and then uh, we're going to go ahead and cut those things to the size we need, and then we'll get them into place. What we're doing here is getting these guys up, so I'm just going to get all my measurements, get these pieces cut, and then, uh, yeah, get these corners up. If you haven't gone and watched the video when we built the kitchen, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But because at the time we didn't have the corner pieces, so all I did is just fill this up with silicone. And it has worked. I mean, we haven't had any issues. And we've had some pretty bad storms here, but it was definitely time to get these corner pieces on here. Okay, we got it. Look at that. We got a corner there. Got a corner right here. Now, I know it's not the same color. They didn't have the same color. Uh, so we just went with what they had. Got that one. And the fourth and final one we got over here, right there. Looks pretty good to me. Function over aesthetics every day of the week. 
and you know it may not look matchy matchy but it'll work i mean the whole idea is just to protect the corners keep the water out i think that'll do it so another project that we have to address is actually down our road a bit about a year ago we put a speed bump in well we've got to do some work on that speed bump so let's go take a look All right, so we're at the speed bump. You can't really see it here, but it's right here, this section here. So basically what we did is we added a bunch of gravel here uh, with the purpose of directing the water that comes down this hill. It would hit the speed bump and jettison off here, go down this little channel we created into the ditch. Unfortunately, it has filled in with a bunch of rock here so we're going to clean all this up i brought some more gravel that we're going to drop here and uh, see if we can't get this back to the way it should be So the water is going to run this way, hit our speed bump, and then run into the ditch here. Now the speed bump isn't too big. Uh, it looks a little big right now from where I'm standing. I'm not quite sure what it looks like to you, but it's really not. Uh, I've got maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe six to eight inches at height. So yeah, that should do it. We'll have to just wait for the next big rain, see if it works. Now we've done this when we first put this in uh, with the ditch and with the, the speed bump here, it actually worked flawlessly. But, you know, over the last year with us driving on the road, it's compacted that gravel. Some of the water that's come down this road here has washed some of that fine silt into this area. So you know, digging it out a little bit as much as I could, and then lifting our speed bump will certainly, certainly help. So like I said, I am going to have to clean out this entire ditch all the way down to the end of the hill here. I'm not doing that today though, but uh, I would like to get it done before the ground freezes. And actually right now the ground is, I mean, when I move this, clean this out, boy, that was really nice. It's soft, it's not hard at all, so I don't know, maybe maybe this week sometime, maybe I'll get in here and uh, get it cleaned up. I don't know yet. We'll, uh, we still have so much left to do uh, before the snow, snow hits us, so. All right, let's get back to the homestead. So, uh, with the weather changing, it is time for us to put some covers, some plastic on the outside of the chicken coop here. So, fortunately for us, we had bought some four-foot polycarbonate panels. Same panels that are on our greenhouse and that are the skylights for our shop. So, I've got some of these panels. I'm going to gather them up, get some tools, and uh, let's go uh, get our chicken coop ready for the winter. So, before I start putting this new paneling on, uh, this thing is riddled with staples so what i think i'm going to do is take the time to pull all these staples out of here i mean there's got to be a hundred staples in this whole section here since we're doing all of, we're redoing all of this i think it's just best we get rid of them all it'll make it a lot easier so let's do that
So basically all of this is now covered. We got this side covered and we got the main portion of the door covered. And the whole purpose of that is during the winter time, we need to do everything we can to protect the girls from wind and from the uh, drafts. And I think that's going to do it. So I'm also going to cover this section of the door, but that we're going to leave open because we do still want ventilation uh, in addition to having the window in the back. So I think having that open will work. I may put something, I may have something that I can use to cover it with uh, if it gets really cold. I may just cut something just so I have it. Because if it does get, you know, minus 20, minus 30 for a few days, you know, I might want to cover that up, especially if we get some really high winds. I mean, the whole point of this, again, is this just to keep the draft off the girls. So... All right, good news. We're done. You can kind of see we've got the whole door done now, all the way down to the bottom. We've got this side enclosed, and we got this side enclosed. Honestly, this took a little longer than I thought it was going to take because I had to make sure I got the cuts right, and we only had four sheets, the uh, four-foot polycarbonate roofing, so I didn't have much to uh, much spare. But it's done. That's all that matters. We even cut out the pieces here for the locks, which is kind of neat. So I think the girls are going to be perfect in here for the winter. Now, that brings up another uh, possible project. Uh, we don't have any way to protect the girls out here in their run this winter. Uh, we do have future plans, but until then, I am beginning to think that that might have something to do with how we keep the girls dry this winter. My goodness, look at how beautiful that tree is. That red is just, man, that is just so cool. You know, this time of year is always one of the, for us at least, is one of the best times of year just because of the color change. I mean, in one way, shape, or another, it just reminds us that, you know, everything around us is living. And this was, you know, one of the reasons why we wanted to move out here and live in the woods. You know, there's so much life out here. And to see everything starting to change colors and get ready for winter, we're doing the same thing. The animals are, you know, these trees are just, my God, just so beautiful. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up this video. You know, we got some work done today. Uh, despite losing our first hen. And you know, I got Rex over here doing his thing. And, you know, it's unfortunate because Betty was Rex's favorite, I think. They hung out quite a bit. So, but it is what it is. That's life out here. It's something that Jen and I have to get acclimated to and we will you know we'll lose more animals and we'll get used to it i guess I, well i don't know if you ever get used to it but you know we'll we'll get more we'll get thicker skin with it you know all right well that'll do it so i do appreciate you folks sticking around and watching this video we got some pretty good projects done that we needed to get done so that's cool um the next big project is going to be the, our front porch, and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing it. It's kind of exhausting, the thought of it is, but, uh, you know, we're going to get it done. And, uh, yeah, so, all right. Well, with that said, thanks a lot for sticking around and watching this video. And if you liked it, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you folks on the next video.